Hi, I'm Chris Thompson with Investor Intel, and today we are here talking with Kevin Ma, the president of Kahlo Gold uh, and the uh, Vatu Orem uh, Gold Project in Fiji. How are you doing today, Kevin? Good. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having us. So you are a fairly new listing uh, in the market. Uh, you listed in March. And so a lot of investors may not know much about the company and the project. So maybe you can start off with uh, just talking a little bit about uh, the project itself uh, in Fiji. Yeah, no, thanks, Chris. Uh, we, we listed the project. We actually undertook the project last summer. So this time last summer, we were, we were raising all the seed capital, uh, reorganizing the private company to undertake the transaction with the, with the CPC. Um, and then we started raising the, uh, the, the, the RTO concurrent financing round at the end of summer. I think we closed that around September and then went ahead, went ahead with the, the full listing process. Um, the, the company had a full 43101 done as part of this process. So yeah, we were very excited to, to launch this on, on, on the markets here in uh, 2021. Just given last year was, um, uh, was quite a strong year for precious metals and we wanted to find a gold property, a gold asset to, um, uh, to, to monetize it as well. And we, I think we definitely um, landed on something here with, uh, with Calo Gold in, in Fiji. Great, and, and, and as part of this listing, did you raise some money? Yes, we raised uh, $3.7 million in a concurrent RTO financing round at, uh, at 20 cents. The uh, pre-money valuation, we intentionally set it at about $7 million, given that um, the, the stage of the company, we wanted the early stage investors to, to, have a, to have a win right out of the gates here. Uh, so we established that value and we had no problems raising that. Great, so can you talk a little bit about the project itself in Fiji? I don't think, uh... Fiji comes up uh, on a lot of people's radar. I know there's one fairly large mine, a gold mine in Fiji now, uh, but maybe you can talk a little bit about more about the geology, uh, you know, the place that meant uh, uh, as part of the ring of fire that uh, so investors can get a little more idea about what Fiji has to offer. Yeah, no, absolutely. So the the Pacific ring of fire, the South Pacific ring, ring of fire in particular is um, has a long standing history of, of mining. Uh, Fiji itself has a long standing history of mining. The Vatakula gold mines um, has been in operation for about 60 years. They're a 10 million ounce plus deposit that they're still operational. The one company that comes to mind that has uh, had a lot of re recent successes so far is Line One Metals. Um, they're on the main island of Fiji. I think they're, they're developing their alkaline system gold project. Um, they've got about 750 thousand ounce um, resource. We're right along trend um, uh, with, uh, with Vatakula and Line One's uh, Tuvatu project. We're right on trend on the North Island side, which, uh, you know, from a mineralization standpoint, it goes all the way up to, um, uh, right up to New Zealand, this, uh, this gold belt. So what sort of drilling have you done there? And, and uh, what sort of results have you got? There's been quite a bit of historical drilling done on the property before we took this on. Um, obviously, we, we raised the capital on that last round for our phase one drilling. But prior to that, they've uh, 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 Placer has drilled this in the past. Um, the previous operators, our, our founders, have been undertaking this property for the past 10 years. They've, they've experienced significant high grade results in, um, uh, uh, on the property. Uh, just as early as 2017, when they put together their initial resource, their, yeah. uh, their resource estimate, uh, we went ahead with the phase one drill program to both confirm the high grade results as well as expand the zones. And the recent IP work that was done has definitely confirmed our thesis that we're, we're, we're hunting in elephant country. As uh, David Madelike of K92 Mining would say, they this region of the world is really prone to large, significant deposits. And, you know, the, the high grade aspect of, um, uh, uh, of the first few results that we've experienced in the past is proving that. And the IP results that we just finished have confirmed basically much larger targets that we, that we're, we're undertaking. Great. And so is this a near surface deposit that you're looking at right now? That's correct. That's correct. So, so far we've, um, the, the high grade results have all been within hundred meters. 
Um, our deepest hole to date was 350. And again, we, we did so uh, on purpose to really confirm the, the lateral um, extension of uh, the mineralized ore body. Um, we're, we're probably gonna continue to, to punch out the last four holes um, uh, to confirm these results, but we may shift it to, to target these new, new targeted zones. Did you mention a resource already on the pro property? What's, That's what's correct. It? That's no. correct. So in 2017, they are the previous founders, they undertook um, uh, a resource estimate, historical estimate, there's about 160,000 ounces. So they okay. were going to mine this near surface. So they, they, they undertook this to try to uh, mine this shallow. Um, and potentially this could be uh, a near term open pit. Um, so for investors, what can they look forward to for news flow for the rest of the year? Um, we're we're going to put out more information as to the results that we've um, undertaken so far. So we'll continue to talk to the market about uh, the expansion, yeah. uh, expansion of the property and what we're really after. And then the next phase of work that we're undertaking here. Uh, and thank you for your time. Uh, it's Chris Thompson today with Investor Intel, taking with Kevin Ma of uh, Kalo Gold Holdings with their Vatu Arum project in Fiji. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Thanks.